Competition Commission of India is a statutory body of the Government of India responsible for enforcing the Competition Act, 2002 throughout India and to prevent activities that have an appreciable adverse effect on competition in India. It was established on 14 October 2003. It became fully functional in May 2009 with Danendra Kumar as its first chairman. The Competition Act, 2002 The idea of Competition Commission was conceived and introduced in the form of the Competition Act, 2002 by the Vajpayee government. A need was felt to promote competition and private enterprise especially in the light of 1991 Indian economic liberalization the competition act 2002 as amended by the competition amendment act 2007 follows the philosophy of modern competition laws the act prohibits anti-competitive agreements, abuse of dominant position by enterprises and regulates combinations acquisition, acquiring of control and merger and acquisition, which causes or likely to cause an appreciable adverse effect on competition within India. The objectives of the act are sought to be achieved through the Competition Commission of India CCI, which has been established by the central government with effect from 14 October 2003. CCI consists of a chairperson and six members appointed by the central government. It is the duty of the Commission to eliminate practices having adverse effect on competition, promote and sustain competition, protect the interests of consumers and ensure freedom of trade in the markets of India. The Commission is also required to give an opinion on competition issues on a reference received from a statutory authority established under any law and to undertake competition advocacy, create public awareness and impart training on competition issues. <laughs> <laughs> Objectives Topic. Preamble to the Competition Act An act to provide, keeping in view of the economic development of the country, for the establishment of a commission to prevent practices having adverse effect on competition, to promote and sustain competition in markets, to protect the interests of consumers and to ensure freedom of trade carried on by other participants in markets, in India, and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto, to achieve its objectives, the Competition Commission of India endeavours to do the following make the markets work for the benefit and welfare of consumers. Ensure fair and healthy competition in economic activities in the country for faster and inclusive growth and development of the economy. Implement competition policies with an aim to effectuate the most efficient utilization of economic resources. Develop and nurture effective relations and interactions with sectoral regulators to ensure smooth alignment of sectoral regulatory laws in tandem with the competition law. Effectively carry out competition advocacy and spread the information on benefits of competition among all stakeholders to establish and nurture competition culture in Indian economy. Composition. The commission comprises a chairperson and six members. Ashik Kumar Gupta is the current chairperson of the CCI. The members of the Competition Commission of India are Sadir Matal, Augustine Peter, U. C. Nata, G. P. Matal. Topic Notable cases In December 2010, CCI instituted a probe to examine if there was any cartelization among traders when onion prices touched 80 rupees, but did not find sufficient evidence of market manipulation. In June 2012, CCI imposed a fine of 63.07 billion rupees 880 million dollars 11 cement companies for cartelization. CCI claimed that cement companies met regularly to fix prices, control market share and hold back supply which earned them illegal profits. 
In January 2013, CCI modified clauses in agreements between real estate company DLF Limited and apartment buyers. Business and finance portal MoneyControl.com welcomed the order saying that, this is a landmark ruling and will benefit property owners across the country. Some of the important modifications were, the builder cannot undertake any additional construction beyond the approved building plan given to the buyers. The builder will not have complete ownership of open spaces within the residential project area not sold. Not just the buyer but the builder will be liable for any defaults. All payments made by the buyers must be based on construction milestones and not on demand. The builder will not have the sole power to form the owner's association. On 8 February 2013, CCI imposed a penalty of Rs million rupees $7.3 million on the Board of Control for Cricket in India BCCI for misusing its dominant position. The CCI found that IPL team ownership agreements were unfair and discriminatory and that the terms of the IPL franchise agreements were loaded in favor of BCCI and franchises had no say in the terms of the contract. The CCI ordered BCCI to cease and desist from any practice in future denying market access to potential competitors and not use its regulatory powers in deciding matters relating to its commercial activities. In 2014, CCI imposed a fine of 10 million rupees upon Google for failure to comply with the directions given by the Director General DG seeking information and documents. On 25 August 2014, CCI imposed a fine of 2,544 crore rupees on 14 Indian car manufacturers for failure to provide branded spare parts and diagnostic tools to independent repairers, hampering their ability to repair and maintain certain car models. The companies fined were Maruti Suzuki, Mahindra and Mahindra, Tata Motors, Toyota, Honda, Volkswagen, Fiat, Ford, General Motors, Nissan, Hindustan Motors, Mercedes-Benz and Skoda. On the 17th of November 2015, CCI imposed a fine of 258 crore rupees upon 3 airlines. Competition Commission of India CCI had penalized the three airlines for cartelization in determining the fuel surcharge on air cargo. A penalty of 151.69 crore rupees was imposed on Jet Airways, while that on Interglobe Aviation Limited Indigo and SpiceJet are 63.74 crore rupees and 42.48 crore rupees respectively. In May 2017, CCI ordered a probe into the functioning of COAI Cellular Operators Association of India following a complaint filed by Reliance Geo against the cartelization by its rivals Bharati Airtel, Vodafone India and Idea Cellular. On 8 February 2018, it had fined Google's parent company, Alphabet Inc. for 135.86 CR rupees for search bias. On August 12, 2018, the CCI approved the Disney-Fox deal. <laughs> 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 <laughs